I've got to get it small enough to go in here. Um, I need to rethink. To be honest, there's, there's loads of space. But I think we will go with that. Hello you wonderful bunch and welcome back to my office. Now, I've been in the loft and I found something that I had forgotten was there for a start and it was rather large and I have erected it in the garden. <laughs> so if we come this way, and normally you don't get to go through this door, this is the back door to my office which leads into the garden. So if we come this way, you will find this, which is a tent. It's no ordinary tent. So this is actually a fishing tent or a bivouac. I don't think I've quite put it up straight. It's all a bit wonky. Um, to be precise, it is a Nash double top Extreme Two Man Mark II. Um, if we get a look from around here, look how bleached all of the grass is from the hot weather. Um, yeah, you can get a better view from here. And there is a demand for these. Um, I'm going to take a look on eBay in a second and we'll see what completed are going for. It does look really wonky, doesn't it? I don't think I quite put it up right. Too bad, it's quite sturdy. But yeah, it all seems to be there in pretty good condition. So I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble selling it. So let's go and take a look on eBay and we'll find out what I'm likely to get for this. You've probably never seen this view. This is the back of the house. This used to be Andrea's office. It's now full of stuff that we're packing up ready for the move you can see in this view it's all crates and yeah a bit of a mess if we come this way oops back into my office we will take a look on here and see what i can get for that tent so i have searched on ebay for completed so here we go Nash Double Top Two Man, that's that's it in its bag. That sold at 200. Um, this is the Two Man 225, best offer accepted. Um, that's actually a smaller One Man that sold for very little on bids. Um, this is the Two Man again, 195. Actually, that that's exactly the same picture. So perhaps that wasn't paid for and they relisted it as a buy it now here um, yeah maybe 200 pounds we could aim for what have we got here that's a one man at 129 that's a one man at 41 one man one man there's not many of the two man ones uh, one man two man 157 on bids there uh, skin only. So yeah, I would think we'll go somewhere about this £200 mark. So I'm going to snap some pictures while it is up and uh, get that listed. Once I've done the pictures, I might uh, time lapse myself taking it down and trying to get it back into that bag. Could be quite amusing. I should have time-lapsed me trying to put it up. That took quite a while because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I still don't think I erected it quite right. It's all a bit on the wonk. But uh, yeah, I'll do some pictures and then we'll time-lapse me packing it away. Right, I've got a bit stuck. 
I've got to this point and I can't seem to get it to fold. All the poles are part of it. They're all attached to the tent. So you have to fold it up with the poles and I can't quite work that out. I've got to get it small enough to go in here. Um, I need to rethink this. I can't remember what it was like when I got it out of the bag. Right. Attempt number two. Right, I've got it. One of the poles wasn't um, detached, so it wasn't folding. Um, but it's starting to spit with rain, can you see? So I'm going to get it inside before it gets wet. So I'm going to leave that for now, let it dry off because it got a little bit of rain on it. And uh, get it in the bag a bit later will be the plan. Um, but I need to do some packaging. Um, I won't do a normal picking and packing video, but I do want to show you this order before I get it packed. Um, recently we went to a boot sale. We've not been boot sailing because we have been trying to clear stock. Look at all this space, isn't it amazing? But we did go for a wander around a boot sale late, like properly late in the day. People were packing up. There were hardly any stalls left. Um, but I did find this. I shared them in one of our Sunday Lives. It's a collection of 51 Agatha Christie paperback novels. I paid five pounds. Um, I listed them as one job lot. I was going to do several lots um, by era. These range from the 50s through to the 80s. But I thought for speed I'll do them as a job lot. 50 quid plus shipping and they have sold so I thought we would find a box big enough and uh, see if we can get those packaged right so here they are there are four stacks here and I found a box that I think will be big enough it's a bit of a thin box well it's not very deep so Like that. But I think that's going to be enough. So let me get the bottom taped up. Okay, so they should all fit in. Well, to be honest, there's, there's loads of space, but I think we will go with that and pad around it. So I just weighed it. It weighs exactly six kilos. Um, I'm just going to check the dimensions and see if I can use my account and send it second class. So it needs to be under 61 centimetres this way. That's 51 and then 46 this way it's 42 or 41 that way and yeah it's not very tall at all it's only 16 centimeters tall so that will be fine to go royal mail second class and that will cost six pounds so i'm just going to pad around these and get that shipped right i've actually stacked them into little piles like that i'm going to fill these gaps with cardboard the edge. A couple of bits on top, and then I'm going to void fill everywhere else.
Job done, let's get a label. Okay, so back over here to the laptop. So, uh, that's that one. 6,000 grams. It's a parcel, second class, medium parcel. Dispatch date is today. And print. One label. Stick it on. Job done. I'm just back from dropping off the day's post. Those books have gone um, and it stopped raining. So I've just wrestled that tent into its bag. <laughs> And thankfully, we have success. This thing weighs loads, I would guess. I don't know, 15 kilos. But it's in its bag and I can now get it listed. As I said earlier, I'm gonna aim for 200 and see what happens. But I do wanna get it gone before we move. Um, we've been talking to our solicitors. We're trying to push for a moving date now. Uh, we still don't have one, but we're hoping it is imminent. Anyway, I hope that was an interesting vlog, something a little bit different. I'll pick one of our videos and pop it up here. So please check this one out. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.